Um, the various request was made by the Riverton Mill Apartments to um, increase the density from 96 units to 112 units based on the um, previous vote by the commission. Staffs um, would like also um, to note that staff is not supportive of and denies the proposed variance request to increase the allowed density from 96 units. <coughs> from variance request approved on June 11, 2018 to increase the density by 29 units from 67 to 96 units to a total of 112 units as it does not coincide with the city's current development standards with the Bremerton zoning ordinance. The variance request by the applicant does not meet the criteria for a variance. The application of these regulations to this particular piece of property do not create an unnecessary hardship. The special circumstances are the result of the actions of the applicant, and granting the variance request will confer upon the applicant any special privilege that is denied by this ordinance to other land structures or buildings in the same district, provided that the City Council may impose or require such additional restrictions and standards as may be necessary to protect the health and safety of residents and workers in the community and to protect the value of, and use of property in the general neighborhood. Okay. Commissioners have questions for staff? All right, if not, I'll turn it over to public participation. Is there anyone tonight wishing to speak on behalf of the request? Please come forward. State your name. And address, please. Uh, density, precedent set, Jackson Square, 80 units, 3.79 acres, 21.1 units per acre. Here, if we go up 16 units, it will be 19.1 units per acre. That is the only comparable multifamily job in the Grand Canyon Western. Um, density, as I said before, should not be an issue. Um, there is a hardship. The applicant has attempted for 18 months now to lease this space, uh, regardless of what you know, the, the materials are in front of them. Uh, nothing has materialized. Uh, we talked about Remington wanting retail space, commercial space. There's a monolithic storage building sitting on the most marketable corner of the NBC city. That shit is safe. So we're stuck with trying to wedge in retail space right here, and it's just not working. Um, so I appreciate your thoughts and your recommendations. Uh, maybe back in front of you. I do want to respond to the, uh, our first responder calls. One thing I do know uh, fire calls, this is a new development. There were equipment malfunctions. To the enunciate panel for the power. So that's the reason for most of the cost. Happy answering question. You have one. All right. Mr. Knighton, the question, one of the other concerns they talked about was the police calls, 25 since August. Do you know how many police calls they've had at Reaperton since August? I do not. I do not. I we did check in with our property manager. Um, are you asking? Excuse me, yeah, I'm just wondering what city percentage. Or? Yeah, for the whole city. Uh, I'm just wondering what is that. So, I don't know. All right. All right. Is there anyone else here tonight who wishes to speak on behalf of the request? Please come forward. Is there anyone here tonight wishing to speak against the request? Please come forward. Anyone wishing to speak against the request? If not, I'll turn it back over to the commissioners. I have a question for Jessica. Jessica, if the rezoning is denied, does the variance stand alone or not? Or can it stand alone without the rezoning? I would say that the the variance would have depended based upon the rezone rezoning. The rezoning would have been approved and we would have had the issue with the density. But without it, without it. Okay. So we don't need to hear this? Should we, should this be pulled then? No? That no. says no. 
As a reminder, you are a recommending body, even right. though you voted to recommend denial of the rezoning, mm -hmm. that decision has not been made yet. Okay. Huh. I'm guessing the you. City Thank Council you. would like yeah. your recommendation on the variances. Right. Thank you, Thank you. All right. So that being the case, then I will entertain a motion. Madam Chair. Yes, Commissioner Wiles. <clears throat> well, I'm going to stir the pot here a bit. <laughs> and, um, yeah. <laughs> what better time? Yeah, right. Uh, and I am going to, for this case, be between 19 and 0 and 1, uh, recommend that we approve this. And uh, my rationale in this is for well, one thing, we talked about the, the density being a big concern. But honestly, on the previous case, I was surprised. I thought that the first uh, uh, comment you made about approval was where you were going to be. Mm -hmm. And then it changed. So that really shocked me. But uh, anyway, to add a few apartments, as Mr. Nigel pointed out, if you had one successful business commercial venture there, you're going to have more than the fact that you'd have for six or eight or 16 single family units with one commercial venture. So I really don't see the density argument at all. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think to have the one bedroom apartments it would be better. The other thing is, if you talk about Remerton overall, and you have this, this property there that people are driving by and it sits there because it won't lease, it seems like that, that over time is going to create a blight in that area it's just the by the visual, the optics of the whole situation. It just sits there idle, idle, idle. And, and you know, there are a lot of, for whatever reason, uh, there are a lot of places where there is alternate property available. And uh, to another point Mr. and I just made, the best piece of property for visibility on the bay tree is a storage unit. So, I mean, for these reasons, I really think that Lieberton needs to rethink what they're doing here and try to let this investor in their community try to turn what he has invested in handsomely around to at least help get occupancy in this square footage that is under discussion. And here again, I, I think that the, uh, if, if there's a huge demand for one bedroom units, that, you know, that's what Lieberton is all about. Young people, college students. They, they need it. They want it. So why not take advantage of that? That's, those are my thoughts. All right. So we do have a motion to approve this request. Do we have a second on that motion? I'll second. All right. Second by Commissioner Willis. All right. Is there any further discussion on the motion? This is on the variance request. This is on the variance request. All right, if not, I'll call for the vote. All those wishing to vote in favor of this motion to um, approve the request, please raise your right hand. One, two. Four, five. <laughs> All those voting against the motion, please raise your right hand. One, two, three, four, five. And... No, it's not a vote. Uh, I'm going to vote in favor of this request. So the motion will carry. Okay. All righty. Thank you, Ms. Jessica. Thank you. All right.